you know, they're couples, blah blah, and they're they're dumb as hell. They are clueless as to the right and wrong. You see, if you're clueless, it's easier on you in life, right? Because you know you don't you're not aware of all the problems. For a thinker type, for a person that's unique like me, you know, I see it for what it is. Somebody told me I had a unique I was given a gift of a unique perspective. You know, on life, so I can educate. I'm a teacher. I was I was palm red, and I was told I'm a teacher. You know, I go through this conversation almost once a once a week with somebody. It's becoming more common. Uh, rather than have one conversation for every two thousand people I meet, I can I can share this with with a lot of people on here and maybe make a difference in the ignorance that's going on in the world it's more narcissism because narcissistic people narcissism and ignorance mixed together is a dangerous combination very dangerous Martin Luther King one of my favorite quotes and I use it you know obviously he applied it to the black people but or just slavery or whatever at the time, but it can apply to a lot of things. Nothing is more, nothing in the world is more dangerous than sincere ignorance and conscientious stupidity. Every day, daily event, I see stupid, stupid people doing, conducting themselves in a stupid manner. You know? That's why you see so many lonely people out there. It's, they're, they're making them struggle. The women are making them struggle because of their ignorance and stupidity. Bottom line. Remember that, folks. You can't run a you can't, you gotta acknowledge the negativity because it's a problem. If this isn't too negative for you, well, that's real life. This is what it is. You know, go back to your fantasy world. Go back to ignorance if you don't want to hear it. But you're living in a in a in a a facade. It's decadence. You know, it's hedonism. You want to live in hedonism? You want to sit there and live in uh, in a, in, a, in a life like that? You know, I live an intellectual life. I think. I analyze. I see what's going around uh, around me. Get all sides of the coin. Before you make a judgment, everything I've said has been based on experience, based on years of looking at people and seeing how they are. You know, this bothers me a great deal. It does. Uh, I'm ashamed to be living in this society. I'm ashamed of the. You know, I see these people and they just disgust me. Totally disgusting. Anything nice to say? You know, they have they have good in them. They just don't know the difference. They just know how they just don't know how to conduct themselves. I mean, there's probably more things I good can say, but you know, why waste a videotape on the good things when you can fix the bad the problems? I'm here talking about it to fix the problem. If I talk about good things, it's just that's just that's that's just small talk. I mean, these are real problems we're having in society. You know, I'm I'm that passionate about it. I'm passionate. I mean, I'm passionate because I want it, it to change. I want it to. I want people to realize what's happening around them. This is the insider's view. And check out my other movies on cell phones, email, further uh, information on email and things of that nature. Uh, and and. The Asian culture, I have a show on Asian cultures. A, you know, Asians are very ignorant people. You want to go to Tokyo, you were saying? Well, it's not just, so it's not just good. Because Asians are very ignorant people. Do I look like a racist? I'm Asian. Okay, I'm telling you the insider's view. Alright? You know? Really, wake up. You know, it's... 
it is what it is. Asians are, are, are very close-minded people, and they have some barbaric practices, like in China, you know, they kill dogs. Michael Savage said this. I'm pretty, nobody here, people have heard of Michael Savage. Savage. Uh, he always interrupts and talks over people, but I heard him saying that if skin dogs alive, they have close-minded. My mother, I could never talk to her like this. Ignorance, ignorant as heck. Couldn't, can't even complete a sentence if she wouldn't understand it. Her. Another thing that disgusts me, she, I don't speak the language. She was a failure as a mother. You know, didn't teach the language. I'm a substandard person now because of it. I can't communicate. I'll have to go back to school and make the effort if I want to. At what point is it now? I'm out of the loop. You're getting... I'm not trying to be anything else but myself. So you can get that out of your head. This is just me. You're going to get... It's good that I'm out, I have an outsider's view. I'm not ignorant as them. I wouldn't want to be like the, the other Asians. I wouldn't want to be like... Them. I wouldn't want to be living in ignorance. Hell is anything... You know, when, hell could be something that... You can't have any reasoning ability at all. You know? Hell could be just like that. Alright. Uh, 27 minutes... I'm going to try to fit this all in one movie. If not, you're going to get it in three parts. Let me know. Definitely let me know your responses. If I have something intelligent to say, definitely get back to me on this, everybody. Uh, especially the author of the response I made in uh, this movie. Give me a video response. Don't give me a three, two sentence hit reply on the YouTube words. No, unex that won't cut it. Take the time. If you don't have a camera, write a letter. Don't give me a concise one. Give me something detailed, a detailed response, point by point. Don't half-ass it. But, next time. I almost forgot. Uh, if you need to get a hold of me, uh, send me I hate to say this, just send me an email and I will exchange numbers. Uh, the only reason I'm contemplating on just leaving my number on here, but uh, then I'm going to get it probably. I mean, I might not get calls at all, I might. But if you show me that you want to talk to me, we can exchange numbers. I don't have a problem giving you a cell phone if you want to talk to me about this topic or any other topic I've posted on all, any other movies I've put on YouTube. Thank you. By the way, I'm sitting at a motel room in Kansas City uh, where I had my lazy guy surgery. And do you th really think there's people out there that are with another person? I'm sitting out there, out here, right here in a motel room, lonely as heck. Do you, th do you think... Do you think? Do you think I'm I'm in a position to say, oh yeah, oh I love to be alone. Yeah, I'm away from my ex-husband. Blah blah blah. You people gotta just look at the other side of the coin. It's a struggle for a thinker type, probably to find people because they're aware of the faults of people and they're very. Nobody likes an opinionated person. A lot of people don't. Not everybody, but. They get annoyed, and they let their feelings, and they react. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. You know, there's tons of people at, at right now outside in another, another hotel, in another rooms that I could be connecting with. But they don't seize the opportunity. That's their whole freaking problem. I got to be the one that goes up to them. You know, I got to be the one that initiates, and it's usually... It's usually something stupid that comes out of the end of their mouth. You know? They don't see the opportunity there. It's ex exactly what it is. And I don't even want to call you Starlight because you should be using maybe your real name. At least, we're, we're not, this is not internet lingo. I hate that, you know? This is real life. 
Faced people are real people. I'm steering away from the internet lingo. BS. Yeah, you can call me cerebral. That's not what I want to address you at. Address me by Rick. Alright. Cerebral01. I guess that's the nickname. I don't even like the nicknames on here that we use.